Hey everyone, today I'll show you how to produce a piano in the style of Kelvin Momo. Whether you're a beginner or you want to improve your production, this video will guide you from start to finish. Without further ado, let's just dive into the video. Hey, you can download the FLP using the link below. And also, if you want the password for the FLP, please watch the whole video. Okay, with them called, as you can hear, like they sound smooth. I've used this preset trick now. Went to edit. So with edit, like, I play with around with the Tremoro, with an EQ, and then a the compressor here. So that's all I did here about this one. Okay, I think I did anything here also. Just on the close two. Yeah, I play with this um distortion again. Distort again, yeah. And then what I did after that, I went to my mixer. So via mix, what I did, um, I put it like a Alexa valve. I didn't do anything, I've just decreased the volume here. Hyper chorus also, as you can see, didn't do anything, I just decreased the volume here. And then an EQ, bro. So with an EQ, what I did, just decrease a little bit of um fantasy 60 hertz hertz, and then um little bit of like um the meat here and then we have the sounds which is smooth and nice then the second this preset which is valve 34 so uh, part of them like okay with this one what i did also kind of decrease the volume here didn't want it to be too much on the velocity so we have something like this when and then we have a second layer of cuts this one like it. And I didn't want the grand piano to be too loud or what. Decrease the volume here as you see. And then all in all we have something like this. When they all play together. Okay, I'm just gonna switch off the pair for now. Then we're gonna add like a pad. The pad is simple and straightforward, just one line. Then what I did after that, added like um the bass line and ARP. Oh, that's how Kevin Momo did uh, structure the track. After I paired, we're just gonna cover up like the RPs, which went like this. Consistent sounds. The most interesting part about this project or uh, the track, it was like the look drum, the first look drum that Kevin Momo did use. It was like not the ordinary one, so yeah, have to play around with it. And it sounded like this. Okay, so what I did here, something like the bass one and then the clack. Let me check. Yeah, this one is nice number up and then down then i just like here i play around with this look drum so what you have to do just play around with the look drum and see you find the sound at once and then here we have like the most interesting parts the look drum and other parts so what's gonna happen here first you need to add like your more energy via your drums like adding snares and something like that so as you can hear we have that part here then another part we're gonna be adding we're gonna be adding like a lead something like a brass vibe like that so i'm gonna use a high for that okay and by this one i didn't do anything yet just added like um a reverb i think so EQ, you can hear just a chorus, reverb EQ. And then we're gonna have something like this. Okay, with the look drum, just gonna use the ordinary look drum. Go, 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 go. Nothing um, unique or straightforward here. Yeah. Then we're gonna have something like this now. Once we're done, I think so. 